Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Ultimate Fan Hub Podcast where it is made by the fans for, for the, the fans. Si Cha, baka may mga gusto kayong patiin dyan. Sige, uh, mauna na ako. Okay, sige. <laughs> Happy birthday, Neil Etheridge! Ayun, oh. Our Good. first. Yun yung legend. Our legendary Mr. Neil Football. Etheridge. <laughs> our very own. Also, Kaiser Ernest and Kaiser Levi of Stat Sports PH. Sir Ivan of Dugout PH. Sa aking napakagandang doctor na si Doc Bisel Danao Tagapan. Hi Doc, mabait po ako tonight. Sa aking BFF na si Anne. Mm-hmm. Tapos, sa aking OG na BFF na si Joanna. Uwi ko na, please, miss na kita. Also to the Pasay Boy Girls. I miss Boy you girls. girls. Yeah, tropa ng mga wags yan. Hindi ko nga oh, alam kung bakit Pasay ako wags. nasali dyan. Pasay wags. Yeah. <laughs> Hindi ko nga alam kung bakit ako nasali dyan. But, Pasay. hi. <laughs> Tsaka kay Mommy Teresa Sevilla. Ang mommy ng mga Pasay Boy Girls and the Voyagers. So, Yeah. Yeah. Eh. Ayun. <laughs> Ikaw ba Jonas? Baka may gusto kong uh, pahabol. Okay. Uh, just want yung nung Monday, February 4. Ano, 7th anniversary namin ng wife. So, happy anniversary. Yo, Happy heart heart. Yeah. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you, sir. Uh, Siyempre yung office mates ko sa DCCD and our co-writers from Fox Sports. Then, uh, yung, hindi natin nababate ever. 7th episode na natin. Yung Black Boys. Ah, yung Black Boys. Boys. <laughs> si, si Ero, si Voltaire, saka si Sir Imon Olgado. Then yung friends ko from KOTC. Then yung kaibigan ko si Joaquin Ong for nakahanap nahana, na rin niya yung June Marfardo jersey. Finally. Okay. I'll finally have the red one. May white na ako so magkaka-red na ako finally. Ayun. Then itong episode na to, it's dedicated to the Makati Pool Players Association or MAPA. Malalaman nyo mamaya kung bakit. Alright, how about, about you guys? Yeah. Yes sir. Member. <laughs> si um, Jesse. Cambosa. Yan, yeah, Gonzales. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eh yun yan, no? first and foremost, syempre sa ating mga ka-ultimate no? na nakikinig once again for our 7th episode. Good evening po sa inyo lahat. Salamat po sa pag-suporta dito sa seven. Ultimate Fan Hub Podcast. 7th seven, seven strong. Hindi ko ma-imagine 7th episode na. Okay, sir, we started November uh, last year. Tapos yun nga, no? si... Siyempre, siya shoutout na rin tayo sa mga nag-shoutout. <laughs> Pabalik sa ating podcast, no? Si Papi Sar, who's playing for Mighty Sports ah, Philippines. Wow. And pati na, rin, pati na rin kay staying major, si Mink. Eric Menk, former Hinebra champion. And siya shoutout din po tayo kay, ano, sa ating mga kaibigan sa MMA, local MMA scene. Uh, Cage Gladiators, Hitman, M- ano, fusion sila ng Hitman MMA. Um, and yun nga, si Mr. Bern Soriano, boss Gandang gabi, salamat sa pagsuporta sa local MMA Pati na rin po kay Sir Lawrence Anthony Canavan Thank you for for always ano, supporting and keeping the movement of local MMA Sa aking family, sa aking girlfriends uh, And to all our friends, good evening And yun nga, no, um Kanina, on our first part, no, we talked about primarily puro football kasi yun yung pinaka-passion na sport ni, ni Bob. So now naman, medyo pag-usapan naman natin yung... The other sports. Yung other sports na pinafollow ni, ba- ni Bob. So Bob, could you tell us, besides football, what other sports do you co- religiously or continuously follow these days? Well, lately, I've been playing a lot of golf. I played this morning. And that's the first sport that I really, really loved when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. And I'm coming back to it now. Uh, still still really bad at it, but uh, uh, I, I like it. And uh, I, I've written, I wrote an article about Kiefer Ravenna playing golf. I don't know if you, you read yeah, that. Yeah, that's what we've been, yeah. he has been doing, right? Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. He's been so playing golf regularly. That, that, yeah, that, that article uh, was, was, uh, was, fun, was fun to do. Uh-huh. And uh, I wish, uh, I, I miss the days when I used to do billiards. Yun, yeah, I mean, uh, no one's uh, covering billiards right now. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I, I hope to write about it more soon. Uh-huh. Uh, something interesting things happening in billiards. There was a Philippines Taiwan uh, challenge. Yeah, parang Yes, and then, yes, yeah. and then the U.S. Open has been taken over by Match Room. Mm-hmm. So in the spring, I think in about April, it's going to be on TV and it's going to be a big, uh, mm-hmm. big thing. I think you shared an article about Django Bustamante winning Derby City. Winning. Yes, he won the Derby one City one pocket yeah. uh, against Corey Duel. Against Corey Duel for the yeah. second year in a row. Uh-huh. And uh, 
marami nag-aakala siguro na ah, wala na, wala na billiards, wala na pala yung billiards kasi matanda na si Efren tsaka si Django uh, hindi na sila magaling, hindi na sila nagchichapin wala na, wala na tayong ilan na lang kaming nanonood eh. <laughs> but that's actually not true you, you have players, you still have Dennis or Julio who's one of the best in the world uh-huh. uh, Carlo Biado Carlo almost Biado, won his yeah. second straight uh, and nine ball world title he lost, he lost to Joshua Filler he lost yeah. to Josh Filler, who's yeah. a really amazing player uh, from Germany there's one but, lady uh, billiard Player. Huh? Before, Rubilin Amit. Yeah, yeah Rubilin Amit is, 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 is a world, is a two-time world ten ball yeah. champion. Um, we have uh, players like Jeffrey Ignacio, yeah. who's a really, the really bull. good player, <laughs> and uh, Renemar David, uh-huh. and uh, yeah, th- we we do have a, a lot of, of, of players up and coming. Mm-hmm. Kailangan lang bigyan ng pagkakataon na lumabas ng bansa. Na sumabak sa ibang In ano. exposure, sir. No? Yes. Exposure. Um, we, we still have a, a, a. It's like it's like boxing. Eh. Uh-huh. Parang there's a deep, deep ingrained culture of knowledge uh-huh. of, of, of billiards in the Philippines uh-huh. pool, and uh, it's not gonna go away soon. Uh-huh. And uh, we can produce more world champions. Si Sir Bob, kasi he used to write uh, billiards articles for Yahoo Sports and Rappler. Yeah. I, I was an avid reader of your articles Thank before. You. And si Sir Bob din, hindi nyo nalalaman, ay commentator sa mga billiards events yeah. before for ABS. Yeah. Sir, I'll go straight to the point. Uh, what happened to the local billiards scene? Why the decline? What happened? It's a worldwide thing, I think. Okay. Um, very, very uh, kapichotso ang ano, Pinoy fans and, and sponsors. And uh, they just... There's just other things to do when other sports came out. Uh-huh. You know, running, badminton, esports, Yun. poker, all these things came out. And na, na, parang napabayaan parang yung, 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 yung pool. Uh-huh. And it's, it's, it's unfortunate because uh, ang alam po, the last, one of the last pool events that, that was shown on ABS, yung, yung King's Cup, did mm-hmm. really well. That was about four years ago. Pero maganda daw. Maganda yung, yung reception sa... So, any sorry, by uh, Resorts World? Yes, Sarah Resorts yes. World. Uh, I, I'd love Charlie to... Williams. Yes, Charlie Williams Charlie did Williams. that. Dragon, uh, 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 Dragon Promotions, Promotions did that. Uh, I'd love to see Pool make a comeback. Uh-huh. Um, it just need, needs a push, uh-huh. and um, hopefully, you know, hopefully it, it will come back because uh-huh. it, I, it's a it's a game that's very close to my heart. Uh-huh. Sir, you uh, said uh, uh, being a commentator, being a, I think a player before, uh, being a commentator, what's your fondest moment covering billiard tournament? Wow, that's a good one. That's a really good one. <laughs> may bet, may bet ako sir, natan- ah. nasagot nyo eh, pero hinihintay ko lang yung actual nyo na answer. <laughs> Efren, Efren, Reyes, Efren Reyes for real kick in against Jong Yong Hua, ah, San Miguel, San Miguel Asian Asian Tour. Tour. Yeah, yeah. That was probably in Taiwan. Yeah. He kicked in for four rails and he played it. Yes, sir. Oh. It, 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 the, the shot is on YouTube, YouTube yeah. with the Chinese commentary, but not with mine. Okay. He played it, and, and the ball was off the rail near the near the first diamond, mm. and it that's that's a big ball when you take it, and he did it like four rails like that, oh, and, then, yeah. and then you just take it, and it, it's it's a it's a doable shot, and he made it. Ah, yung yeah. hula ako. My guess was 2006. Eh. World Tour Championship uh, uh, here, yeah, versus uh, Red Ives Rocky. Yeah, that, that I thought was, that was your... It was like, take us back. No, that that was happened. also... I mean, uh, Ronnie Elcano accidentally figured out uh, the soft a, break. A, draw, a draw break, <laughs> a cut break, yeah. where he would make every ball yeah. on the break and get the position. He would get the one in the middle yeah, and, it and was the a, wing ball yeah. down, yeah, automatically. And he built a lead against Ralph Sukei and it was alternate break. And when it's alternate break... If you if 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 a guy has a, like a five rack lead on you on alternate break, uh-huh. mahi, and he's figured out a break, ma- mahirap na, mm. mahirap na talaga. So and I think yeah. sir, he was the number sixty four qualifier. Di ko na maalala. Yeah, Di ko na maalala yon. Uh-huh. Basa basa na na, na na talo si si Rab. Sir, what was the feeling back then? Sa loob PIC sa chat sir, di ba? PIC. It was so sa TV kasi when we were watching, we felt that it was so electric, it was so yeah. noisy out there. Ganun ba talaga, sir? Ito, during life? Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. it's fantastic uh, to support the uh, Philippines. I, I saw, I didn't commentate on that game, but I saw uh-huh. Efren and Django win uh, World Cup of Pool yeah, in, oh. in SM. In SM. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't yeah, yeah. assigned to that game, but I saw uh, it. It's in pairs in the boys. World yes, Cup of Pool. World Cup of Pool. Uh-huh. They won twice. Ang yung magkumpare na nalang dalawang beses. 
And uh, the only other Filipino team that won was mm-hmm. Lee Van Cortesa and uh, Vince Raculio. Raculio. Yeah. Yes. Uh, sir, how do you think will uh, will billiard tournaments make a comeback in mainstream TV? I want them to. I wish uh, I could. You know, for billionaire, you know, one sponsor na ako ng tournament ng uh, I'm hoping because we actually have a new generation. Yeah. See si Anthony yeah. Raga. That's another player. Mm-hmm. See. Si, uh, Si Johan na uh, Chua. Johan Chua, Bubuit. Yeah, yeah. Si Bad Koy. Bad Koy. Uh, Jeff De Luna. When I, when I was in when I was in Shanghai to watch to to for the visit of Ronaldo, Ronaldo and Phenomeno, World Cup of Pool nun eh. Sabay, okay. Yeah, and I watched Jeff De Luna and Biado. Carbiado uh, play the beat Germany. I I I dinalo ko sila. They beat Suke and Filler. Jeff De Luna is like Django Bustamante. Power breaker din yan eh. Ah... Uh, with theatrics okay. pa nga eh. <laughs> Iba na ang pool ngayon eh. Ah, itas evolver. Iba na ang pool yeah. ngayon. <coughs> pool, they mostly play 10 ball now. Yeah. And uh, it's game, not eh. it's not about... It's not about the heartbreak much. It's about intelligently breaking. Mm-hmm. For me, yeah. And sometimes it's it's hard because you have to have three balls cross the, mm, yeah, the, 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 the halfway well, no, line yeah. or go down. Uh-huh. So you can't soft break anymore, which yeah. is good. But um, it's not so much about skill anymore and the number of shots that you have. It's it's not missing. So I'm sure your equipment and has changed. Though. I don't know if the equipment has uh-huh. changed, but it's about not missing. Uh-huh. And the Taiwanese don't miss. Ko Ping Yi doesn't miss and Chang Jun Ling doesn't miss. And, uh, you know, that's why they, they're, they're so good, uh, those and guys. I think they have revolutionized the yung jump shot instead of well, going, re- kicking or... Yeah, banding. everybody jumps them now. Uh-huh. But the old ones don't. <laughs> Efren and Django can okay. if they want to. Okay. But they'd rather kick. Because kicking is what made them what, what they are. And counter safety. Okay. Not just kicking a ball, but get playing safe after the kick. That's, that's what made uh, Efren what he is. Okay. Well, sorry, we're geeking out. This is a total geek out moment. No? Yeah, it's, sorry. It's, it's it's okay. Okay. <laughs> I love listening. Yeah. Actually. Hey, ganun naman talaga tayo oh. dito, Box. Uh, <laughs> Ultimate Panel Podcast. Kasi sa rabbit kasi may Titanic na nakikinood din ako. <laughs> anyway. Eh, yun yan, no? Um, once again, Ultimate Panel Podcast. We're here with Bob Guerrero. So, yun nga, Bob. We, you mentioned, yun nga, billiards in particular. So, talk us... Could you walk us through your experience for playing billiards? Oh, I'm a terrible billiard player. I was uh, <laughs> class B at my height, and uh, when I was in the first year, I was in the first round, I was in the first round, and I was in the first round. So, where do you uh, usually play before? I, I used to play in Detour on J- Jupiter, and, and uh, that closed. Ah, so they all closed. Uh, Mahadi Cinema Square. Oh, right, Super Bowl, yeah. Uh, la last, my last yeah, uh, play was in H&J. Eight oh, ball. Ten ball? Eight ball. Uh, eight ball. Eight ball. H&J. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I, miss, I miss playing pool. I keep on saying I'm going to play, play more pool. Uh-huh. Tara, laro tayo. <laughs> Do you have a, no, a custom cube of your own? Sargonite. I don't have a custom cube. I have uh, a Linz cube from uh, Linz. my friend uh, Linz Davin. Ah, okay. Yeah. You see from Kubao. It's so funny. Oh. I'll tell you the story of the Linz cube. So I had a 3,000 peso Linz cube. But I, I still use it, and it's like 15 years old. And uh, our friend Linz, there was a time when being a cue maker was one of the most dangerous professions in the Philippines. Quite. So the great Edwin Reyes was, was shot. Oh, okay. Killed. Uh-huh. And uh, Linz was shot. You know. And and so nag ambag ambag lahat yung mga tao for his medical uh, hospital uh-huh. expenses. Sabi ko, I'm gonna give this for us for. Uh, I think I, I told the wife this is my contribution. It's for uh, the future. I know. Pag kailan ako ng tako, uh-huh. ko na lang. Pero ito muna yung bayad ko. Uh-huh. Sa hospital. So uh, I was gonna order it and then uh, And then one fine day, he just shows up in 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 my house with a new cube. <laughs> ah, <laughs> no, wow. na siya, so I have a Lins new cube. Custom. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. So wow. so yun. Yung aking Bebot Bautista. <laughs> From Binangona? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Bebot Bautista. Bebot Bautista. Yes, Most of the yes. few makers are Bautista yung surname. Eh. Tony Bautista. I didn't know that. Yeah, Bebot Bautista. I didn't know that. And yun yun, no? Um, 
<laughs> well, you know, play experience. Sorry, geek, geek, geek. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm not a good player. I mean, I, I can get. Pag, pag ganon, I, I can, I can kind of play at an intermediate level. Ani yung tip? Ani tip niyo, sir? Ani tip niyo? Tip. But the tip of my cue, uh, I improve best when I use the Lepro. Ah, okay, maybe. Lepro are very hard uh, tips, okay. but they force you to to, to stroke better. Uh-huh. But I don't know what my tip. What if my cue has a Lepro now? Pero matigas yung Lepro pa na mapipilitin mo ismooth yung, yung ano. Ako sir, traditionally, triangle. Triangle. At master. <laughs> master with okay. the chocolate juice. Maglaro na lang tayo ng billiards for fun. <laughs> Nanosplit ako ng slide doon. <laughs> I never play billiards for fun. I play football for fun. Uh-huh. Okay. But with, when it comes to billiards, golf, and poker, I have to I have to okay. beat you. Or I have to do my best. Okay. My only memory of billiard when I was correspondent for Chalk Magazine. We have this, so, Alex, yes, Alex. correspondent get together. So in a sports bar, I National Grill. I, NFG. Yeah. National ano Sports Plan. Anyway, so dun kami nag get together. We have bowling and billiards tournament, and I played ball. I played both. Nagulat ako na I I had third place in billiards. Ah, uh, so yung point, yun yung yeah, that's the recent. fun part. So I was like, okay. It's such a beautiful game for me, billiards. Uh, sir, who's, who's your favorite billiards player? Like, aside from Efren and Jango. It, it has to be... Kahit po rin, sir. Oh, Ralph. Ralph's okay. Yeah. Kaiza. Maybe Ralph. Okay. Kasi yung, yung stroke niya smooth eh. Okay. Not your typical... But there are a lot of... There are a lot of good players. Pero sa European kasi, sir, their stroke is different eh. They kind of grip it. They, they tighter, grip right? it. They yeah. grip it and they, they, it's a bit mechanical. But Suke stroke so smooth. Unlike Filipinos, two, three fingers, sir. Filipinos do not hold the cue. Yeah, they, they, they just let, let they, it rest on their. They, uh, they let it rest in your hand, and that's the secret. That's uh, the big Pinoy secret to the accuracy uh-huh. and also to the spin that, that we get. Geek alert! Geek alert! Yeah. Geek alert. Yeah. alert. My, my episode. Geek alert. <laughs> yeah, this is Jonas' episode. Anyway. And yun yah, no. Jordan. Kung maga, again, you mentioned yung natanong narin kasi ni Jonas yung decline ng billiards. Yeah. Eh. So how can as an avid fan and you know naglalaro ng billiards how can you see it become somehow popular again We need new heroes we need to promote new heroes like Johan Chua but who like uh, like uh, Jeffrey Ignacio yeah. they say is good enough to win uh, a world championship Meron sir yung policeman eh yung Eric Bayhon yung from PNP yeah Meron sir the billiard cup yeah. yeah but we have players uh, you know, right? like like uh, Renamar David and even uh, Roberto Gomez. I saw him play the other night. He played he played the the big foot, the the, the ten, ten ball, ball with the with the, with the ten foot. Uh, there's table. another guy, James Aranas, in Dodong Diamond. I've heard, I've, I've heard Royce of that. Face, I've heard of Dodong yeah. Diamond. Oh. Dodong Diamond. Yeah. And Marami, marami tayo marami, magaling diba? na player na pwede mag world champion. Most of them you get to watch on just Facebook Live eh, on, on YouTube. Because yeah. of the lack of tournaments on TV, eh. and even or or Colio can still uh, win a world championship. I think Warren Campbell can world win a world championship. Mm-hmm. Roland Garcia finished second place in the world championship. In Qatar, yeah. Surprising, yeah. sir. Na yung runner up finish niya naman. Yeah, Biado still has more world championships. Uh-huh. Um, we need to do to to uh, no, to highlight our stars, and we can do it because they're there. Yung stroke lang sir ni Biado has sir. Parang jerk ng Biado from his stroke strokes like Lee Lee Van Cortesa. It's where like there's jerky. a bit of head movement you and you in, know. The, in the in the ano, but it is it is it's it repeats. It's the same movement every Robot, time. Uh, for robotic, so, so so you. The guy with the stroke I like the most, yes, actually, uh, Roberto Gomez. Smooth, lang, sir. Him and uh, si, si Abu Sayyaf. You know what his what his last name is? Real name? Ah. Yeah, beautiful stroke. Geek alert! Geek alert! Geek alert! Geek alert. <laughs> yeah. This is my episode. Take over na to. <laughs> yun nga, no? Not only... Yeah, yun yung, yun, yung, yun yung okay sa guest natin ngayong gabi, no, mga ka-ultimate. Don't get me started on golf. I'm gonna geek so, alert. So, <laughs> not only is he... Tito geek alert. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you're in denial with the Tito statement. But, but yun nga, no? Sobrang, not only is he an avid fan of, you know, multiple sports such as billiard, na, golf, ito saka, ito saka, ano, saka yeah. football, no? And I'm a big Gilas fan. Gilas as well. Yeah, the, Gilas. the fight, I was there. Oh, yeah. 
Ultra Filipinas. Yes. Uh, sir, quick question. Maka World Cup. World Cup for Philippines, maka World Cup. Yeah, will they qualify? Uh, I'm not following the the, the, the table so closely. Uh-huh. But the last time I checked, I talked to Sid Ventura. Parang kaya naman natin. Kaya, okay. Kasi parang nakabalik naman. But I, I Ay, haven't... Hindi, ay, hindi ako familiar <laughs> sa qualification process. Eh. Uh-huh. Sana masasabi ko, go Philippines. Yun, yes, tama. Okay. And yun nga, not only is he an avid sports guy, he, he, he was a musician back Ayan. then. Yes. So... The police. With, with sting, with sting. And then, iba yun, sting in the... <laughs> so, Bob, could you... Yun nga, could you tell us, para sa mga millennials dyan na hindi, hindi, hindi naabutan yung... Mga 90s yung, kid kasi kami, si, sorry. Si Sir Bob kasi, he plays guitar for the police. Not to be mistaken with yung kay Sting na the police. Ah. Yeah. He plays with uh, Sir Renzo Villalon on bass. Gabe Mercado, syempre, on vocals. Rusty Isip on drums. And Jay Ignacio on guitar. Correct, yes. Guitar. yes, yes sorry, origin, yes. sir, ng ano, The Police. Um, Jay Ignacio and Gabe Mercado had a band called the uh, Capring Jay and the Singing Nunos <laughs> in Southridge. This is true. Uh, this is okay. absolutely all true. Okay. 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 And they had a few songs. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I was the high school classmate of Renzo, and we were in a band in college. And I became uh, English classmates with Gabe and org mates with Gabe in college. In Atina, you're and right? then, yeah, and then they, they gave the Capring J and the Singing Nunos gave a demo tape <laughs> to Sony Music, and then they wanted them to form a band. Uh-huh. And so Gabe asked me to join the band, and Renzo to join the band. So uh-huh. I'm saying, I had nothing better to do with my life again at that point, and so we just, it's I just fell into it. I mean, I didn't. Di ko naman you know, from an early age pina pagkano gusto mong ibanda gusto mong rock star, di ba? Uh-huh. It just happened. It just happened. And then the next thing you know, there's an album and touring and you know. So why so, the police? Why yeah. the police? Yeah. I think I think because because not only me chan mo I think. Uh, <laughs> I think that's why. I think that that's for the reason. Oh. If I recall, if I recall, yeah. So yung isang album yung si Paul Medina yung I I, I have yeah, that album at home eh, yeah. yung cassette. Uh, how art, did yes. you get Paul Medina, the uh, the artist Pardon. behind Pugad Baboy, to Jay, do your cover? Jay did it. He's the one who knows him. Yeah. No way. I don't know how he did it. Yeah. So I've been I should drawn, have brought it and have been drawn by I've been drawn by Paul Medina. Yeah. Uh-huh. Iba yung itsura ko nun eh. I had hair, I had a mustache, and I had glasses. It didn't look like my, myself. Okay, one of your hits is Paa. Yeah, I didn't write that song. Paa. Tell us Gabe, about Gabe that. that. The story Gabe behind Paa. Yeah. You have to ask Gabe. He, he wrote that. I guess it happened to him. He wrote that song. Yeah. Sir, who writes the songs? Gabe Mercado? We've all, we've all oh, written right. songs, yeah. Yeah. The, the, the Tito, the one you played earlier, uh-huh. that, that's mine. I wrote that last year. Obviously, I wrote that recently, right? Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah, it just came out. What's your inspiration to write that song? Life! I guess it's just... And he keeps on talking, Tito, okay. kept on talking before about Tito jokes. And, and I just feel it. I mean, a lot of the things in that so song... Lyrics, eh? so, I'm not the things in that song. Yeah. I'm really going through that. Yeah, reading glasses. I'm yeah. going through yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's e- it was easy to, to, to just write that song. Sir, and lahat kami nakarelate, di ba? I think my favorite song na ginawa ng The Police ay yung ano, Luli Island. Yes, yeah, yeah. Is it, was it really, ano, was that song really to promote uh, tourism in Palawan? Well, we went, we, we guested on a Probe Anape. Productions... Uh, uh, Luli Island. We, uh, on a Probe Productions uh, episode uh-huh. in Palawan in like 1996 or something. Uh-huh. And uh, well, it inspired me to. to oh, you write? So I, I wrote, wrote the song, song yeah. right? Okay. And and it, it's a, it's a, it's a tribute to Yoyo Villame. Okay. That song. And I I was in advertising then, and we had a shoot with Yoyo Villame, oh. and I was able to give him my CD and oh. said, "Sir, inspire kuna kami sa dancing yung." Because my wife didn't yeah. believe me that there's a song called Luli Island, and yeah. I was singing it to her. She didn't, she didn't believe me that no, it's there on, was a it's song. On, it's on, it's on, it's on Spotify. I don't know if No, sir. I have it on the cassette. It's on YouTube, I think. I'll try to check yeah, her. Put it on YouTube if you can. Okay. So, because when it's YouTube, it's there forever, right? Mm. Yes. So, so yeah. So, thank you. Th- I'm, I'm glad you appreciate that Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> the song on the cassette mm-hmm. is missing. When we perform that song, mm-hmm. we play it with an extra stanza. It originally had another stanza where the islands around Luli Island are enumerated. 
Okay. And then for the recording, we took it up. So, it's a lot of stands. This stands are listed on the island. But when, when, when we perform it now, for <laughs> example, uh, on the bay is, has many islands waiting in store for you. Oh, I've been there. The Pandan <laughs> and the Monkey Island. Are you mentioned? Kauri and Snake Island too. But only one of these islands is better than all the rest. Luli, Luli, Luli Island. For me, it simply is the best. Yeah, then, so that's not in the CD uh, or the cassette. The spiky poisonous bundle. The spiky poisonous bundle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then sir, what, what, what triggered the reunion in 2018? Because it was all over the news, di ba? In Rappler. Because I'm kita kami uh, tapos ano? Uh huh. And then and then and then I and then I started to write Tito. And then Susan at Bayani uh-huh. met us after rehearsal, and she asked us, you know, uh-huh. you guys write any new music? And the guys were like, no, no, we have new music. And I was just quiet because like, Tito uh-huh. was like half finished. And so, <laughs> so yeah. And then I just uh, we have a Viber group, and uh-huh. then I made a score of recording and I uploaded. Guys, I have a new song. Uh-huh. And the next day, we recorded it. And, it was on Rapper, eh? I remember. It was on yeah, Rapper, yeah. 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 It, it, uh, yeah, it was on Rapper Street, yes. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. only the second time I've been to that Rapper office in mm-hmm. four years of writing for them, yeah. Really? Yes, yeah. There's no reason for me to go there. Mm-hmm. I have ah. nothing to do there. I'm not sure you want future plans of the band. Future plans of the band. The future plans of the band. Uh, Takain kami. <laughs> Basically, that's... Kala ko Araneta, eh. Kala ko Araneta, eh. Um... Um, our our bassist is a partner in Pedro Craft Brewery, and uh, they have a bar. And there's talk of us and a club music center, but not that much. I don't know if, if uh, uh, we'll probably get around to doing it at some point. But uh, yeah, we're we're all very busy with lots of different things. But yeah, we probably will because when I when we started recording last year, I realized how much I miss their company. And yeah, if I had a tattoo in the video, eh. it's yeah. spark. Eh. It's like a time machine. Eh, no? oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think I told you about it. My 10 year old sister, sister oh. likes to watch The Police on YouTube. Ano she song? likes to. LSS is just a paa. Oh, yeah, yeah. I even sent Bob a video of my sister singing. Pa, it's fantastic. It's a, it's a real genius song. That's why you girlfriend. Um, yeah, I wrote that. Song ba naman? Just go to, just go to, yeah. so, for some other time, yeah, yeah but, uh, I, I made that. Actually, yung, uh, I can sing it now because my girlfriend, my girlfriend is here. Yeah. Sa Spotify, you just search The Police. Yung ilang songs yes. ng The Police uh, is there, including yung Tito. Yun, kanina, yeah, the yung new inintro boy. namin kanina. Yes. Eh, yun yan, no? So, how old are you? Are you, what? 30... Ako magkakalawa. 31. 33. Okay. Kalendaryo pa. Getting there. <laughs> yeah. You will, you will get there. <laughs> Excuse me, magkaedan tayo. Wag ka nga ano. <laughs> Wait, yun nga, no? Um, yun nga, so, no, Bob, such an honor to be, such an honor I'm for you to be a part yeah. of, thank you, thank you. To be a part Grand of the man. Ultimate Fan of Podcast. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Musician, sportsman, commentator, commentator, Passionate. And overall, a great guy. Saka na daw, geek daw, geek. And your Tito, massive, massive Tito geek. Massive geek. geek. Your daily yes. neighborhood Tito. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no? It's not, our guest for tonight, yun yes, none other than Bob Guerrero. Bob Guerrero. Bob Guerrero. So, sir, Bob. Thank you so much for gracing us. You're welcome and thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. For making me feel I'm interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a boring geek. So you can follow him on his ano, no, social media on Facebook, at Instagram, bob.guerrero, right? Tama, no? My Instagram is bob.guerrero. Yeah. Bob.guerrero. Sir, baka may ano, ipa-plug kayo na upcoming events or any activities. Uh, you go plug, to plug your something. social media Just, also. Uh, watch uh, UAP Men's Football on uh, February 17 on Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Sa Liga ipapalabas yun in the afternoon. Oh. And then in the morning there will be the stream, the usual UAP stream of okay. ABS-CBN. And on the 21st, we have one game at one o'clock, U.S. men's football. Uh-huh. And then at three o'clock, it's the juniors final okay. between FEU and National University. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. National University. Uh, one game final that's live on uh, SNA. So that's gonna be so exciting. Uh, ano pala, sir? Fearless forecast, men's and women's. 
Freeless four guys. Oh, it's, it's wide open this year. <laughs> because um Ni makapili. Delta Don is injured. Uh, I don't know how, how long he'll be injured. Uh-huh. Um you be and, and DLSU has 13 new players. They have uh, a field Japanese guy. They have a guy from the Middle East, a Filipino or something. Uh, Adamson has been doing really well in preseason. They have a new coach. Okay. Uh, it is, and UE was almost made Final Four last year. Okay. Um, and Ateneo, you cannot count them out. They no, finished, no, and neither, no, can, you count, neither can you count no. out. Yeah, you have the RB they also. They also. And neither can you count out USD. Yes, Divas okay. are the And it's 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 honestly going to be one of the I think one of the most competitive uh, UAP men's football seasons. UAP men's football is my it's one of my favorite leagues in the whole world. I mean, mm-hmm. I, it's, like, it's like my, yeah. I mean, it was the first time I ever did football for ABS-CBN was uh, the women's final and then I think the men's final 2009-2010 when FEU beat. Ah, si MST in the final when Master Jason Kim jo- wala pa si Kim nung Dolph ah, okay, okay. when Jason Cordova scored the winning goal uh, against Master UST Kim and Korean, then uh, that was the team uh, that had uh, OJ Clarino in it so it's it's, a, it's like my Why baby mm-hmm. UAP football's my baby I think it's fantastic okay. and it's just getting better and better every year and uh, it's so competitive it's so inspiring okay. so please watch it Good. promote the PPL na rin. Pala. the PPL, PPL sir. Uh, there's really no new information for me to give from the press con. All I can say is that uh, as per the press con, the final slate of teams will be announced mid-February. So that's in a week or two. And um, uh, the target is still eight clubs. And uh, we will. Uh, the target is to begin in late March. And uh, I, you, you all wrote about it. You were there, and so pretty much, you're gonna put in a plan on, and it's really exciting. And you know, okay. there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Parang si... bitin yung uh, ano? Parang bitin yung isang Tapos episode. Geek up some more. Uh, <laughs> special episode kami ni Sir. Yeah, we need to have part two. Sa <laughs> bilyaran do yung next episode. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime, pulitin mo ko. Yun sir. You know. Uh, pulitin mo ko. Kasi I need somebody to drag me to the pool. Okay, All right. Yeah. Okay, once again, this is the Ultimate Fan Hub Podcast with Jordan Samar. Si Chaka Bandong, Jonas Reyes, yeah, yeah. and of course, yes. si Bob, Bob Guerrero. And Thank you for having me. It's a big honor. Thank you. And yun yun, no? it is made by the fans. And for, for the, the fans. fans. And yun yun, uh, pakinggan po natin to sa SoundCloud and fo- please follow our Instagram as well. At Ultimate Fan Hub Podcast. And you can follow my SoundCloud also. And yun, yes, SoundCloud Bob, yeah. din ni Bob, ni Bob Guerrero as well. Okay. Okay. Covers ko ng mga songs na pag wala akong magawa. Ayun, yun naman pala eh. B-H-O-B-G ata ang handle ko na. B-H-O-B-G anyway. Yeah, B-H-O-B-G. Search for Bob Guerrero on SoundCloud. And, and you got this is the, once again, this is the Ultimate Fan Hub Podcast. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye.